Hello everybody, welcome. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create an email of an ALV table that you can send out as a report to folks either within your company, within your department, or externally to external users. So to start with, we declare two variables, two global variables. This whole program is gonna be written globally, which is bad practice, but just to demonstrate the simplicity of this, we're gonna do everything globally. So don't let that get you upset. I don't recommend it, but for a test program, it's fine. So we declare a internal table, gt underscore spfli, which is a table of spfli, which is the flight schedule table, which is part of the demo data model that SAP provides, a reference to a CL SALV table. We're going to select everything from spfli into our global table, into our internal table. Then what we're going to do is create a reference to the CL SALV table specifying our internal table as the data table. And then to test this, we're just gonna go ahead and do gr underscore table display. I have a lot of videos, by the way, guys, on this uh, CLSALV table. I'm gonna comment some of this further code out, which we'll be looking at a little bit later on. So if you're unfamiliar with uh, the CLSALV table, check out my earlier videos. I show you everything there is to know about it and uh, show you what all it's capable of. So. What we're going to do is select some data into an internal table and display it. We'll go ahead and run our program so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is the output. We have our ALV table with you know all of our data from our SPFLI table displayed in a convenient standard SAP ALV uh, display. So that's pretty neat. Go ahead and just get rid of this display method. So now if we run this program, nothing's going to happen. So, but we do create our ALV. So in order to send it as an email, we need to declare a few variables here. It can be a little convoluted if you've never worked with it before, but we're going to go ahead and I'll go over what these variables are. So we need a variable of type X string. This is going to take our CLSALV table, which is going to be converted into this X string format, which is a hexadecimal string. We're going to need to know the length of that we're going to need a binary table where we can hold all the data that our ALV is converted into. We're going to create a send request, which is of type CL underscore BCS. This uses ABAP objects, object oriented programming to create this send request. Some body text and some subject text. Uh, recipient or recipients, either way, we can loop this and create multiple recipients for our message. If we have, say, for example, an email distribution group we want to send this to. GR document, this is a, a global reference to our CL underscore document underscore BCS class. Uh, the document is going to be the email itself, it's going to be the message itself. And then GV size, which we have to use over here because we have a formal parameter down here that expects a different type than our GVXLIN type. So what we're going to want to do is going to go ahead and surround all of this in a massive try-catch statement because with the uh, I can't again you guys know me I can't type and talk so we'll just go ahead and get that so this uh, CL underscore BCS class if it's not happy and something goes wrong it throws this CX underscore BCS exception we should obviously handle this a little bit better than just a message, something went wrong, email not sent. But for the purpose of this video, this is what we're gonna do. So to start with, we're gonna create a send request of type class CL underscore BCS by using the create persistent method. This is because this is a persistent class that actually does modify database entries. So that's what we're gonna do. Then we've declared our GV underscore body text and GV underscore subject. This is going to be the body text of our email and the subject text of our email. We're just going to append to the body text and set the subject text right here as necessary. Then what we're going to do using our gr underscore document, which is of type cl underscore document underscore bcs, we're going to create an email document, which is the main message itself. It's going to be of type raw. We could say dot ht uh, type. Uh, HTM here if we wanted an HTML based email maybe we want some additional formatting or uh, uh, CSS or whatever just to make your email prettier we're gonna say it's raw text here we're gonna create the I underscore text importing parameter which is our body text that we've defined here and the subject text which is defined here sample subject now 
in order to satisfy that um, parameter that we're going to need here, we're gonna actually going to say GV size is equal to GV underscore excellent, which I actually have forgot to add here. Let me do that real quick. And this is the problem, guys, with copy and paste and stuff um, from previous things I've done. We'll go ahead and modify this, and I'll explain what I'm doing here. So a lot of this stuff, guys, I'm using from stuff that I've done for previous tutorials or Stack Overflow answers or stuff in the, uh, the SAP Developer Network. So it's not always like perfect here. GT binary tab. I called it GT binary table. So let's just get this here and I'll explain to you guys what I'm doing. So Okay, so with our ALV, if we want to convert it into an email attachment, what we need to do is create an X string. Got okay, here GV X string. We're going to take our table reference, GR underscore table, call the to XML method on it, and then pass the data type that we want our XML to be converted into. In this case, I said if, which is interface, SALV BS XML to type XLSX, which is your newest Excel format. Then we have to call a function module, SCMS X string to binary. What that's going to do is convert our X string into a binary data table that we can actually attach as an attachment to our uh, BCS email. So, left this bit out here. We'll go ahead and continue on. You know, you can kind of just copy this and, and see, you know, read the documentation on this function module here. But, you know, I left that out. We'll go ahead and Assume I didn't and continue on. So we've created our send request. We've appended some body text and some sample text for our subject and body respectively. We've created our email document. That's a raw text document with our body and subject text. We've created this GV size, which is of type SO underscore OBJ underscore LEN, which this next function call add attachment expects. And all we've done is taken this GV XLEN output length here and change the type so that our next method doesn't complain. I'll go ahead and uncomment it and I'll explain it. So we're going to take our document, which is our email document, and call the add attachment method on it. The add attachment method, we can say our attachment type is EXT. EXT is an external message type or attachment type. It allows us to basically say whatever the subject is here is going to be the file name and we can add an extension. In this case, it's XLSX. We have to pass in the attachment size, which we've, again, converted to a suitable formal parameter type here. And we have to pass in I underscore attachment underscore content underscore hex, which is our binary data that we're going to be attaching, which in this case is our GT binary table, which we get up here from this SEMS X string to binary function, which provides us with this binary table from our actual ALV table and calling the 2XML method on it. So that's how that works. We, we create an ALV display. We don't have to necessarily display it, just create it. We turn it into a binary data table. We add it as an attachment here. Then we're going to call our request, which is our, of course, GR underscore request is our CL underscore BCS reference variable call the set document method on it and pass in GR document. GR document is our Excel attachment here. Then we're going to create a recipient. The recipient has to be created using this uh, static method of CL underscore CAM underscore address underscore BCS. We can pass in a literal my email address for my YouTube channel right here. And our CL our GR excuse me GR underscore recipient is going to be of type if underscore recipient underscore BCS. So this is an interface with which can be uh, populated by the static method of this class here, create internet address. Then for our send request of type CL underscore BCS, we're going to add the recipient. Assuming that all goes well, we can say email sent type success. Actually, this needs to be before our message. So we take our send request and we say send and we output this message email sent. Then we're going to catch our exception of type 
CX underscore BCS. If the email, you know, for some reason something's gone wrong, we say email not sent. So what this program, all in global space here, is going to do, create an ALV. Then it's going to create all these necessary parameters to create an email, subject text, body text, create the email document itself, create the attachment, set the document for the actual email body, or the email itself, the message itself, add a recipient, send the email, and give us a message, whether it you know, succeeds here or fails here. So let's go ahead and check this code, activate our code, we can go ahead and run it and we should either get one or two messages, our success message, or type A, which is opened, which just means this, this program just stops completely when it reaches a message of type A. Opened is German for stop, so that, that makes sense. Um, go ahead and run this code. It's going to take a second to process. And we see here in the bottom our message, email sent. We could double click on it if there were any long text, but since we just said email sent and type S, it's not going to really show anything here. So now what we can do is go to transaction SOST. So we can do slash N to switch transaction to SOST. Transaction SOST shows send request in our SAP system. And we can see here that we have a send request with our sample subject title. The sender, can, since we didn't set it, the sender explicitly, it's just going to be my user and our recipient. So we can click on, highlight this line, go to display. We can see the actual email body in a preview in SAP. We can show uh, attributes, recipient list, attachments, all that. And we can see our attachment down here, sample subject.xlsx. So if I double click on this, save it on my desktop, give it just a second to export. There we go. Go ahead and pull it up as an Excel file. I'm not going to sign in. Okay, <laughs> I guess I don't have Excel set up on this computer, which is fine. Um, we'll go ahead and look here, and we see our ALV table. So this is our ALV table here with the results from our select query. So all this is sample data, of course, from the BC Travel Flight Model in SAP. This could be your own internal table, however you want to build it. And SAP knows exactly how to convert this to binary data table and send it in an email message given the code that we wrote so uh, that wraps up pretty much the basics of sending an ALV table as a report attachment uh, in an email if you guys have any sort of questions comments anything leave it in the comment section send me an email let me know what you guys need to do and I will make a video on that so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video